Hello children, welcome back to the English 2 session. As you all know, we are meeting after a long time, right? You are all writing your examinations, you are busy with your examinations. I hope all have done the examinations very well, okay? Okay, now children, today we are going to start with a new topic that is doing words. Okay, children, before we start the topic, I just want to give you a few instructions. You are going to follow my instructions and do according to what I tell. Okay, now you are going to stand, sit, open your eyes, close your eyes, give a pencil, take a pencil. Sleep, nod your head, drink, smile, laugh, comb your hair. Yes. Children, what did you do now? Yes, these were all the actions which you have done, right? So today we are going to learn about action words or they are also called as doing words. Today we are going to learn about doing, doing words. These doing words are also called as action words. Action words. Or they are also called as verbs. Okay. V E R B S. Verbs. So, we come to a conclusion that verbs are action words. Okay. So, the definition of verbs is doing words, doing words are called verbs. Okay. So, doing words or action words, they are called as verbs. Okay, children. I hope all have understood. We have also dealt with this previously. So, I think you are clear with the concept. Now, we are going to learn a new concept where to add S and where not to add S to the verbs. Okay, children. The first thing is when you are dealing with the sentences, that time you see for singular nouns, that is, for he, she and it, we are going to add S to the doing words. Okay. So, the rule is we add S to the verbs if the nouns Noun is singular. Singular. That is, sorry, that is for he, she and it. Okay. For he, she and it, we add S to the verbs. For example, here. singulars we add s to the verb okay the second rule we do not add s if the nouns noun is Plural. Okay. If the noun 
this plural we do not add s for that is for we they you and i here children i is singular but it is an exceptional okay here even if i is singular we do not add s to the verb for example here okay now i'll give an example of i okay i play on the ground play on the ground okay see here we do not add s to the verb if it is plural here this i will be an exceptional as i is singular but still we don't add s to the verb another example we play on the ground they play on the ground you play on the ground okay these are a few examples we will learn the examples later on today we are going to stop here and continue in the next session today children you are going to write these notes for your homework is it clear children i hope your concept is clear we'll stop here and continue in the next session